It's Kiana, and I'm a certified professional biller, AAPC approved instructor, and medical billing business owner in New York. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. This is where we talk about all things medical billing. And if you are returning, thank you so much. We are slowly but surely creeping up to 400 subscribers. I'm really excited about that, and I appreciate your support. So in today's video, I want to talk about seven reasons why you need to start your medical billing business now. Reason number one is you can literally get started today for zero dollars. So if you have experience and you have the equipment that you need, which are a computer, and it doesn't matter if it's a laptop or a desktop, either one is fine. Uh, a phone, it can be a landline or a cell phone a multi-function machine so that you're able to print, copy, scan, and fax, and a shredder. If you're printing any PHI, you definitely want to shred that information and not just discard it in the trash. So again, you can get started literally for $0 as an independent contractor. Reason number two is medical billing is not difficult to learn. So you can enroll in a reputable course or training or school and learn medical billing relatively quickly. I offer a six week live medical billing and software training via Zoom. We meet every Wednesday evening for six weeks and you're gonna learn the fundamentals of medical billing in detail. So you're gonna learn every stage of the revenue cycle and the steps that you need to take, the various different scenarios that may occur and what you need to do to resolve any issues. You're going to get access to real medical billing software. You're gonna get a username and password so that you're able to log in 24 seven and practice at your convenience. So medical billing does not require a college degree. Getting a training or some sort of course to teach you the fundamentals is sufficient. You'll be able to do that for a relatively low investment for a huge return. Reason number three is medical billing certification is not required. Certification is optional. So as opposed to medical coding, which takes place before billing, those coders are required to be certified. Um, but with medical billing, again, it is optional. Now it is definitely a plus. There are a lot of benefits and perks to being a certified biller. So let's just go through a few. Number one is certification holds more weight than a college degree. In this industry, for non-managerial positions, a certification does hold more, hold more weight than a college degree. Another reason that it's beneficial is you will stand out amongst the rest. So most medical billers are not certified, so it'll definitely set you apart. Another reason is it allows you to stay on top of the industry changes. You are required to earn CEUs in order to keep your credential. So you'll be able to stay on top of those changes and continue to learn. And being certified will definitely make you more marketable. Reason number four is the medical billing industry is pandemic proof and recession proof. So you're never going to find a doctor's office, a hospital, an outpatient facility going out of business due to a pandemic, due to a recession. Now the volume may decrease temporarily, but they're not going to go out of business, okay? Chances are that's not likely to happen. I continue to work throughout the most recent pandemic and I've actually been able to grow and, and earn new, uh, new business, new providers. So in particular, I have a psychology group. One of uh, my groups, there are five psychologists and there was no effect to them during the pandemic. Honestly, the volume stayed the same. They're extremely busy. Um, like I said, it's five of them. Their schedules were booked uh, throughout the last year and a half. So if you can try to find those specialties similar to psychology who are doing, you know, psychotherapy remotely online anyway, uh, not always in person, they're able to do it remotely online. There's really no effect there. Reason number five is if you're not ready to quit your job, no problem, that's perfectly fine. You can start out part-time. This can actually be a side gig. I definitely have providers that I work for on a part-time basis, part-time hours, and earn a full-time salary. How am I able to do that? I charge a commission, okay? So if you're working for providers that have very high volume, if you're working for providers that are surgeons and you're charging them a commission, your earnings are going to be significantly higher than if you were just charging 
charging an hourly rate. Reason number six is you probably already have the equipment that you need. So we already talked about the computer. We talked about a multifunction machine, a phone, and a shredder. But what about software? Most people ask me, what software do you recommend? Do I need to purchase software? And my answer is always the same. Absolutely not. You don't need that expense. You don't need that overhead. I leave that to the provider. Okay, the providers more than likely have their own software, more than likely it's going to be cloud based that you can access via the internet so they can easily assign you a username and a password. You'll log in and be in. Now, if they have a software that is server based, that means that they purchased the software and downloaded the software onto their office computer, you can easily remotely log into their office computer and access that software. So the subscription that I have to remotely log into providers office computers is Splash Top Business. Splash Top. That's the name of the company. The subscription is very inexpensive. I believe I pay $60 a year to access up to 10 different computers. Reason number seven, which is really important to me, is the flexibility. I'm a mom of two boys and when I decided to start my family, it was really important to me to be available, be hands-on. So I started working uh, remotely from home full-time seven years ago when I had my first son, okay? So there's a lot of flexibility with medical billing. You are able in most cases to tailor your own schedule, okay? Depending on if you're an employee or an independent contractor or you have your own business, you know, the specifics will vary, but for the most part, you can tailor your own schedule. What you need to get done during business hours are making those phone calls. If you're contacting insurance payers, if you're contacting patients, answering billing inquiries, that sort of thing needs to be done during business hours. But other than that, you can work in the evening, you can work on weekends when you need to enter charges, when you need to uh, submit claims, review EOBs, post payments, send statements, review reports, all that can be done pretty much at any time. So there's plenty of flexibility. I hope you found this information to be helpful. I am encouraging you to definitely consider it if it's been a dream of yours. Think about starting your own medical billing business or just starting out again as an independent contractor. It doesn't cost you a dime. If you have that experience, you can get started right away. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can leave a comment below or you can send me an email at askthebiller at gmail.com.